Francesca, you're very welcome to Pharmacoms TV. Thank you very much for joining us today. Can you tell me how the pace of investment and interest in digital transformation is developing in healthcare, specifically in relation to Almoral? So um, obviously Almoral has made a huge investment in, in digital health. We're a team of 15. Uh, our mandate is across the entirety of the enterprise. So. Um, it's the end-to-end -end digital transformation, starting from things like back office process automation with RPA through to R&D and manufacturing where we're utilizing AI for drug discovery, um, software-enabled clinical trial solutions for our development phase, um, looking into automating manufacturing but also detecting stockouts as an example and changing the way our, our marketing and our sales teams can react to those um, environmental issues um, as well as working with the, the brand teams directly on solutions and services that can better target patients, better interact with patients and support them during their journey. Um, and I think the, um, the investment that we're making in this space is certainly leading to improvements in efficiency and, and, and cost throughout the organization. Okay, and can you tell me uh, some of your views on the importance of patient centricity in pharma communications? Absolutely, so at Almoral, the, we try to keep the patient at the center, and so we've really changed the way we approach um, patient communications across the whole business. Um, we have now a noble purpose, which is to transform the patient's world by helping them realize their hopes and dreams for a healthy life. And, and it's, it's quite aspirational, because it's, it, but it's meant to be very transformational. Um, as an example, one of the things we're doing with, uh, with patients in the US, where we can have a bit more flexibility with direct-to-patient um, outreach, is um, we have a drug for, um, for acne in the US and um, we're targeting teenagers where they are, Instagram, Facebook, through social media. We're allowing them to have care delivered directly to them through either finding a doctor locally or through telemedicine, and they can then be prescribed either our product or whatever product the doctor decides best suits them. So these are, these are different ways and different approaches that not only create a different avenue and channel for communications with patients, but also improves how they're being treated and diagnosed. Uh, talk to me about a recent campaign or upcoming campaign that uh, you see as being innovative and its importance to your business. Um, so today we're launching the um, Almoral Digital Garden, which is our, our startup accelerator where we're inviting uh, five companies live to join us on our, on our innovation journey. The idea is that uh, it's meant to be quite startup friendly, so rather than taking an equity stake, which is very painful for companies at this stage, we're helping grow their business to get to the next level of size and scale and introduce them to investors and, and venture capitalists in the space. Um, the, the purpose is less tied to operational metrics as many of the pharma startups and accelerators have been. What we're really looking to do is first to grow the ecosystem within um, the startup community in Barcelona but also within Europe. Um, but the second is to imbue a, a, a bit more of an entrepreneurial spirit to our team members and colleagues. And to do that we've created a mentorship program where after a gap analysis to understand what the specific startup needs, we're going to be pairing experts within our company and externally as well to those startups to help their growth. Um, so it's essentially an extended team of expert uh, consultants that are dedicated to the specific startups, but whose objectives are also linked with those startups. So I think from a professional point of view, it's a way to upskill our teams. The idea is that some of that entrepreneurial spirit will shed onto them and it'll be a, a bit of infection by contagion within the organization. And what new technologies do you see as being effective in the dermatological field? Um, for example, AI, VR, XOR, et cetera? So dermatology is a, a therapeutic area that, that's ripe for digital in innovation because it's so visual. So there's a tremendous amount that we can do. Um, we're already looking into um, capturing visual images, using them as a potential diagnostic, and then eventually even using them for, um, for AI, utilizing machine learning tools, so that we can identify either which patients would be most appropriate for a, a particular clinical trial 
or later on which, um, which patients would be most appropriate for a, a therapeutic. Um, so in doing that, we're looking at a number of different approaches. Um, AI is certainly at the core of what we're doing, but um, to help physicians visualize the transformation that the patients will have on different therapeutics, we're considering things like, like augmented reality and, and, um, and VR as well.